In this video, we're going to look at simplifying the expression m to the negative 2 plus 2m to the negative 1 over m plus 4m to the negative 2. A common error people run into on this problem is they confuse this with a problem such as a, b to the negative 3, c to the negative 1, d. In a problem like this, we could identify the negative exponents and move them around because the negative exponent means take a reciprocal. We would move the b cubed down and the c to the first up and keep the a and d where they were at. However, this only works because they were multiplied together, a times b, c times d. It only works with factors. It does not work with terms things that are added and subtracted together. Because we have terms in this problem, what we're going to have to do is just look at the m to the negative 2 by itself and make it its own reciprocal, a little fraction sitting on top here, 1 over m squared. Plus, similarly, the negative 1 exponent's gonna make a fraction, but be very careful here to remember that negative 1 is only on the m. The 2 stays in the numerator, and the m moves to the denominator. In the big denominator, we have m plus 4m to the negative 2. Again, the negative exponent is only on the m, so the 4 stays on top, and the m squared moves down. And now we have positive exponents. As we've done this, we've also created a complex fraction, which we should be able to simplify using the least common denominator of the entire expression. The only denominator we have is m, and 2 is the highest exponent on the m. We will then multiply each term, numerator and denominator, fraction or not, by m squared. This will allow us to reduce out the small fractions. In the first fraction, the m squares divide out completely, leaving just 1 plus m squared over m leaves behind the 2m over m squared times m is m cubed plus the m squareds divide out leaving behind a 4. From here, we could try and factor. This one does not factor. And so we have our final solution of 1 plus 2m over m cubed plus 4. We got this answer by taking each negative exponent and making a little fraction. Then, we could clear the little fractions with the LCD to give us a simple fraction.